<laughs> all kinds of good things nowadays. So, hi, this is Keith Weaver with the Top Executive Strategy Podcast, where CEOs, COOs, and business owners share strategies for better success. This is six questions in nine minutes because the best strategies are concise business advice. And so we're going to be concise and get right to our guest today. And in a few sentences, tell us who you are and what you do. Hello, I'm Taylor Wellman, co-owner of Financial Potion, and we provide customized video marketing solutions in the form of production, editing, social media distribution, training, and live stream production. So a lot of things that you do, all to help businesses grow their business, but also get out there more. Yes. And, and video is becoming more and more just a necessity. <laughs> Yeah, if you're not doing video marketing within your business, I have no idea what marketing you're actually doing that's working for you. (laughs) Well, we're glad to have you here. Um, Question number two, what's the best thing about being a business leader? The best thing about being a business leader is having that direct connection with other businesses and, and just seeing the growth that you're able to help them achieve. Uh, you know, when you're an employee, sometimes you don't necessarily see the growth and, and the impact that you're putting on to people. But when you're a business owner, you really do see that impact and it just drives you every single day. That's really cool. Very well said. All right. Question number three. I hear from other business leaders that their people strategy and running their business is more challenging a lot of times than their actual business strategy. Your thoughts? 110% would agree with that. You know, I can come up with a a campaign, a marketing campaign, no problem, technology. I know it's going to do what it says it's going to do. However, building a team is probably the the hardest aspect of building a business because you need to find people who will fit within your culture, um, but also be diverse and and make your culture even grow. And so managing people and and finding the right people, I would say, uh, is the bigger challenge in growing a business? Well, great answers. I don't even have to add anything to it. You're just doing great. So, so you know, I do this for a living. A <laughs> that's right. You can tell. So question number four, what strategy would you like to share with other business leaders? The strategy that I want to share with other business leaders is to look at what you're doing and how can you repurpose it. For example, perhaps you're doing a webinar for your organization. Beyond just that one webinar, have it recorded and then repurpose it. Maybe take one minute snippets to use in Instagram or 15 second snippets to use in in your stories. Whatever you do, you want to make sure that you multiply those efforts. And with video marketing, it's extremely simple. And you can make it work across all platforms from just one piece of content. So really maximizing the use of that in every possible way. Yes, every possible way. And sometimes you just have to change the aspect ratios to fit a particular platform. But really, if you're ever putting effort into creating something, make sure it it lives beyond that one aspect. Well, yeah, I think the hardest part, at least for me, is the creation part, you know, spending all the time to figure out what to create, how to put it together, that kind of stuff. And like you said, once you have it, why not maximize that and get every penny's worth, so to speak, out of it. Definitely. You know, it could even be as simple as an email you answered for a fellow client. Maybe they had a question. Well, if one client had that question and was willing to email you, I'm sure there's other people who haven't taken the time or maybe are too afraid to ask the question. You can take that information, repurpose it into a video, and then put it across different platforms. That's some great advice. (laughs) Well, great. Well, Question number five, then, what other successful business owners, CEOs like yourself, would you want to maybe acknowledge or do a shout out to or you think would be good on the podcast? Well, I would definitely want to give a shout out to Jean Breeze. She is the current president of NABO. That's the National Association of Women Business Owners. And she's actually going to be possibly one of the first presidents in Phoenix that will never be seen in person given the current pandemic. However, what she's been able to do for the organization, uh, the people that she's been able to bring in into our virtual meetings have truly catapulted the other members of NABO. And I know many members of NABO have said, you know, thanks to 
the leadership of Jean Breeze, they've been able to stay in business. They were able to get, you know, the PPP loans and they've been able to just maintain and thrive. And so definitely Jean Breeze would be someone I'd want to give a shout out to for not only her as an individual speaker, but really the leadership that she has been providing within the NABO organization. Well, that makes me think back to your answer about, you know, being a business leader and stuff. You never know the impact that you can have on other businesses sometimes. And like you said, especially in 2020, even just every little help could help the business and make a huge difference in some of the businesses. Definitely. So that's awesome. All right. So kind of a final fun question. Tell me about one of your favorite past bosses. Oh, that's a really hard question for me, uh, finding a favorite past boss, because I'd say one of the reasons why I became a business owner is because I had a lot of bad bosses. I, I learned how not to treat employees, how not to treat clients, how not to run a business. Uh, so honestly, I think I'd have to go back to pre video marketing realm uh, to Sports Authority. I used to be a shoe department saleswoman at Sports Authority, and I had a boss who, you know, even when we had to do tedious things like inventory, he always made it like a game. And so it was almost like a competition and it just made it more fun that as an employee, I, you know, I was able to be more engaged. And I, I think that's something that I take back with me is how can I make something that maybe even seems tedious to be fun, whether you make it a competition or you make it a game, it just makes people be more involved in the process. And then you end up getting better results engaging employees and, and like you said i mean gamification has become a big thing in the last probably five years or so because you know finding ways to engage your your people and get the most out of them it, that's an ever in challenge you know a new challenging thing to do every couple of years it's kind of changing and stuff like you're saying about the people strategy it's always exactly. hard to figure out what's going on and how to stay up to date on it so and if People are changing, you know, as we look at our different demographics and, you know, Gen Z, it's just, you have to learn how to best communicate with that, that particular demographic as well. And so right. that was something I was able to learn from, you know, even good old rest in peace sports authority. <laughs> well, good. Well, it has been great having you on. Love talking with you. Uh, before we go though, can you tell people how they can connect with you? Most definitely. Please go to our website at financialpotion.com and reach out to us. We offer complimentary strategy sessions where for a half hour, we'll talk about you, your business, your goals, and how video marketing can help you reach those goals faster. Okay. Just so right on when I was saying, you know, how people can link up with you. Yep. There was a little bit of a glitch there. You froze, okay. and then when you were answering, it kind of glitched as well. Oh, weird. Okay. So if you don't mind, we can just kind of pick it up from, you know, that point and and redo that last bit if you don't mind. Sounds good. Okay. It has been fun talking with you and uh, hearing your advice, and loved having you on today. Before we leave, though, can you tell people how they can connect with you or you get a hold of you? Yes, please go to our website, financialpotion.com. Reach out to us, schedule a strategy session where for a half hour, we'll talk about you, your company, your goals, and how video marketing can get you to your goals faster. And it's completely complimentary. That could be a great advantage to a lot of businesses. So yes. thank you for offering that. Thank you. And again, thank you for being here. And this is Keith Weaver with the Top Executive Strategy Podcast. And for more insights, and to follow us, you can follow us at Weaver Business Coaching, find us on LinkedIn, and of course, listen to us on your favorite podcast platform. And we wish you all the best success.